Hey Kentucky, this is Andrew. I'm a fisheries biologist with KDFWR and I deal with aquatic invasive species, which are just plants and animals that get introduced into aquatic habitats outside of where they're typically found. With drops in winter temperatures and the addition of rain and snow melt, there can be some expected fluctuations in recreational fishing opportunities. However, cool temperatures and changes in flow can really heat up the success of two of the largest population control efforts ever put into effect in Kentucky, the Asian Carp Harvest Program and the Ohio River Contract Fishing Program. If you haven't heard by now, Kentucky and many other states within the Mississippi River Basin are suffering through the expansion of one of the region's most troublesome aquatic invaders, silver carp. These are one of four major carp species that have been introduced into the U.S. since the 1960s. Silver carp are large-bodied, open water filter feeders that inhabit large rivers and lakes and often school up where they can become hazards when disturbed by boats due to their famous aerial performances. This jumping behavior, which often causes fish to leap clear of the water, also makes them particularly challenging to catch. However, Kentucky's commercial and contract fishers have figured out that when water cools down and flows pack fish in tightly together, they become easier to land and harvests can skyrocket. So the next time you're out on the water and see buoys flagging nets, steer clear and together we can help fishers target and remove invasive carps and protect Kentucky's waters from invasive species. <laughs> <laughs>